All right, friends, let's work on the lesson. Write tens and ones up to 20. So they say, type the missing numbers. They give us the number 17 and they want us to decompose it or break it apart into tens and ones. So as we can see, the number 17 has a one and a seven, like this, a one and a seven. In numbers, we have our tens place and our ones place. So the place on the left is our tens place, this side over here. And this is our ones place over here. There's our ones and there's our tens. All right, so whatever number is in the tens place is how many tens we have. And whichever number is in the ones place is how many ones we have. I will show you why this works. I'm going to draw 17 lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Here I have seventeen. I'm going to circle as many groups of ten as I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's one group of 10. Now let's count the next group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we don't have enough to circle another. So 17 is one 10 and we have seven ones left. So it would be one 10 and seven ones. Great, so let's write that. One 10 and seven ones. Amazing. All right, now if we have the number six, can we split that into tens and ones? Let's see. We have six. So we would have our tens place and our ones place. Do we have any tens in the number six? I don't see any. Let's draw some lines just to check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I can't circle 10 here because there are not even 10 lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, no tens to circle. So there are zero tens, but there are one, two, three, four, five, six ones. Great job. Next, we have the number 10. So let's see how many tens and ones are in the number 10. So with the number 10, remember we have our tens place on the left and our ones place on the right. So I see that there is a one in the tens place and a zero in the ones place. Let's draw some lines to figure out why. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so I'm going to circle each group of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here's a group of 10. So I have one group of 10. And how many ones do I have left over that are not circled? None, which can be represented with a zero. Zero ones. So we can look at the tens place. There's one 10 and there's zero ones in the ones place. Wonderful. One 10 and zero ones. All right, now with this number, we have five. They want us to break it into tens and ones, but if we have five, is that less than 10? Yes, so if we were to draw five dots, we wouldn't be able to circle a 10, so we would have zero tens. But we would have some that are not circled. How many would not be circled? Yes, five, because I can see that there is nothing in my tens place. I could put a zero here, but that's the same as not having a zero, so we don't put a zero before these numbers. There is nothing in our tens place, but there is a five in our ones place, so we know that it is zero tens and five ones. Let's look at this one, eight. 
If we have our tens place and our ones place, we know that an, the eight would go in our ones place. Do we have anything in our tens place? Nope. So we know it's zero tens, and the eight is in our ones place, so there were eight ones. Here we go, let's work on 20. So I have 20 like this, and I do see the tens place, and I do see the ones place. Great, so now I can tell just by looking at it that there must be a two in the tens place and a zero in the ones place because there are two tens and zero ones. I'm going to draw the line so you can see why that works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to circle this group of ten. Let me count the next group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I had two groups of ten. Ten, twenty. So that is two tens, but there is nothing left over, so there are zero ones. So twenty is two tens and zero ones. All right, do you see any tens here? I don't, so what do we put in the tens box? Yeah, a zero. How many ones are there? We can look by just looking at the ones place where this digit is. What is that number? Yes, nine. So there are zero tens and nine ones. Okay, with this problem, we see the number five. We have our ones place here, and over here we would have the tens place. Do we have anything in the tens place? Nope. So it's a zero. And then in the ones place, we have our five. Zero tens plus five ones. Now let's look at number six. Our tens place would be here, and our ones place is here. So there's nothing here, so there's a zero in our tens place and six in our ones place. Here is our last problem. We can do this one without having to draw any pictures. Can you point to where the tens place is on this number? Yes, right here. This is our tens place. And this is our ones place. So we can see that there is just one ten and four ones. Brilliant job. One ten, four ones. So 14 equals one ten plus four ones. Thank you for all your help today.